concentrated shrimp stock like this that's professionally made, that's fine. Otherwise, just use salt. Don't use regular fish stock or you w shrimp will not taste like shrimp. They'll just taste like fish. Uh, I'm also going to add regular salt, about a teaspoon and a half. Uh, some garlic powder, about half a teaspoon. A bay leaf. And the water. And this is going to go in the microwave uh, to warm it up. Okay. It was in the microwave for a couple minutes. I'm just going to stir this to make sure that it's um, as dissolved as it can be. And I check it with your finger because microwaves will vary. You want this to be quite hot. Not so hot that you pull your finger back immediately and scream, but, but it should be hot. The reason why is the shrimp are going to cool it down. Now here I have completely frozen rock hard raw shrimp. Never buy cooked shrimp in a package. It's just terrible, terrible thing. They, they, you don't want to eat cooked shrimp. It's nasty. So these are um, shell on cooked shrimp. The water is quite warm, but these shrimp are frozen. And the two are going to equal each other out in a few minutes. And the water will cool down and the shrimp will warm up, but the shrimp won't cook because the water's not that hot. The water's not actually boiling. Now, I'm just going to let the shrimp um, brine, which is essentially what we're doing here. Uh, just put some plastic film over them. Now, if you're going to use them pretty soon, you don't need to put them in the refrigerator. Um, you okay, it's been a couple of hours. Take these out. And hopefully, if you're watching my videos, hopefully you already know how to <laughs> peel and, and devein shrimp. But just in case you don't, I guess I'll uh, I'll show you anyway here. So um, I'm going to save this for making shrimp stock. And you might wonder why didn't I use shrimp stock when I was soaking the shrimp? Different. So once you get the shrimp, you just run a, a sharp knife down the middle here. You find the vein pull it out that does not go into the stock because it's nasty and gritty. So there's the first shrimp. We're going to accumulate these onto a cloth and start drying them. Okay, you got all the uh, the shrimp uh, cleaned and deveined. Now they're actually going to go back in here. Um, now that they don't have any shells on them, they're going to go back in here for another quick swim. Just a, a couple of minutes and then we'll put them out on a towel and start drying them out. Since we, we sliced them open here, to get the, the veins out of them, we, we exposed more surface and uh, we're going to make use of that by, by uh, letting them get a little bit more of the brine inside. Now I've got them on a clean dish towel. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of freshly grated uh, ground black pepper over them, just a few twists, and uh, complete the drying process before we start actually cooking them. Okay, this cast iron pan has been heated already for quite a few minutes. It's um, 580 Fahrenheit, about 350 Celsius. It's a very, very hot pan. That's why you need cast iron for this too. So, I'm going to put a splash of vegetable oil. Put only three to five shrimp at a time. This is exactly how long they are cooked in all. I'm not editing anything out. It's only possible to cook them this quickly because the pan is so hot. And that's going to also bring a lot of flavor to it. It's going to be little tiny bits you can hardly see that are uh, slightly carbonized. That's it for this side. I'm going to flip them. I'm going to get even less on the second side. That's about enough for the second side. Now I'm going to turn them up on the end to get this thick middle part. We'll give them just, just a few seconds here. And that's enough. Now we're going to go into a bowl with the rest of them. Okay. And then put a little bit, just a little bit of lemon juice on them, toss them around. Now, in a restaurant, actually what we do is we, we bring them up to this stage 
and we refrigerate them, <laughs> believe it or not. And then when a dish calls for pasta or something, this is just these are brought up and they're just reheated very briefly with the hot pasta or uh, with the other dish, uh, and they'll retain that flavor. So we make these uh, every day in the in the restaurant and get a batch of them in the in the refrigerator. So when an order comes in, we don't have to go through the process of brining the shrimp and all that. That's all ready to go. All you have to do is, is warm them up again. They're they're perfect, perfectly tender, and they taste very fresh as long as you do them the same day. So you can do this for parties and banquets to make them all up ahead of time. Also look for my cocktail book, Cocktails of the South Pacific and Beyond, Advanced Mixology, available through Amazon online.